One of the, the beautiful traditions that came out of India was a group called Jama'atul Tablighi. This was a group that what they wanted to do was bring simple Muslims back to the religion. And they created this tradition where they had six principles that they wanted to instill in Muslims. The first one was the vastness of the kalima, what the kalima actually means and the weight of that kalima. And anyone who says that kalima has the hurma of Allah, has the protection of Allah. The Prophet said, do you want to know who the worst human beings are? He said, Imam Ahmed relates this hadith. Can I tell you who the worst people are? They're the people that go sowing dissension amongst people. And we have so many of these people. We have so many people online and critics and everybody just attacking everybody else. This is a disease in our community. There's something called constructive criticism, but it's not done the way people are doing it. It's not to say that we don't criticize what needs to be criticized, but we have a tradition of deen or nasiha. Nasiha is also sincerity. It means advice, but it also means sincerity because real advice comes from a sincere point. If you love your brother who's a Muslim, you want for him what you want for yourself. Our religion teaches us not just to want for the Muslim brother to what you want for yourself, but for all people. This is our religion, to want for everybody what we want for ourselves. We have to get back to love of our Prophet. And in conclusion, we have to get back to the book of Allah, to really practicing this book. But the second thing of the Jama'at Tabligh that I wanted to focus in their six principles was love of Muslims. Love of Muslims. To love your Muslim brother and sister. To, to really, what does that mean? To really love a Muslim. Just to want good for Muslims, wherever they are, whoever they are. We should want good for them. We have so much struggling and suffering right now. There's people in this room that are depressed. There's people in this room that are on Prozac. There are people in this room that are taking anxiolytics. We know this because of the statistics. People are, are suffering and we need to bond together as an ummah. 